Good morning, everybody. RV living with the geezer. Just pulling away from the raised right ranch. And uh, actually, this is going to be a little test video because uh, I don't think y'all can tell from what you're seeing, but uh, my camera holder is in a little different uh, angle than it was before. Because the geezer mobile. The, the uh, Geezer Mobile number two, my pickup was Geezer Mobile number one. So I guess I'm in Geezer Mobile number three now. I bit the bullet, guys. Catalytic converter had gone out on my Geezer Mobile. And uh, it was the 30th of the month. And I'd seen, I'd looked at cars before. And I was looking at these uh, up at James Woods in Decatur. I'd bought a car from them, uh, a pickup, a used one. And uh, going into the sun just for a second here. But I hope this, uh, I hope this video, because this, um, I got the camera angled a little bit more up, but you're still seeing a little bit of the hood. But anyway, back to my story. I, uh, yeah, I bit the bullet end of the month that if you bought a car from them by the 30th took possession of it and all this came on yesterday morning when that engine light came on then I found out what was wrong with it I found out how much it was going to cost because they have a lot of they got to do stuff to the I'm not a mechanic they got to do stuff to the air sensors and oh, oh it's it, it was a lot a lot of money and I said then what next because that car had 111,000 on it and be honest with you I haven't been a big uh, fan of uh, the way Jeeps are built uh, Jeep builds their vehicles so I yeah I took a beating on it uh, way upside down on the on the trade-in of course with that engine light on you know they checked it right well I told them right up front what was going on with it because they're going to check it so I took a beating on the trade but uh, I said you know what I'm going to buy me a new car and then I'll, I'll have a warranty on it and and uh, I'll be set for quite a while I got to make these trips down to Bernie I, there's no way I was going to drive with that uh, taking a chance on getting broke down on the side of the road. That's that's one thing I do not. I'll, I'll spend what I have to to uh, take that out of the out of the picture. So anyway, I got to make a long story short. It's already been a long story, I guess. I got a uh, 2024, and it's new. It had 111 miles on it. Uh, Chevy Trailblazer. My buddy Gene bought the Trax, which is a size smaller than this, and he loves it. And uh, he was telling me that, uh, I said, Gene, does that thing have enough power to get up like on a expressway? Because he drives down San Antonio all the time. He says, it'll, when you hit that accelerator, you'd have to know the way Gene talks. He was a retired drill instructor from the Air Force. Big C, that's what he calls me. Big C, when you hit that, when I hit that accelerator, and he's 89, okay, keep all this in mind. When I hit that accelerator, it throws me all the way into the back seat. So, so of course, I, I test drove this car, you know, the guy, he didn't even go with me, let me test drive it. And, uh, yeah, yeah, it's got a lot of zip. It's got plenty of zip. And it's supposed to get 32 miles to the gallon. My Jeep was getting 20. So that's going to save me some money. But uh, anyway, guys, so it's Geezer Mobile number three. And I'll, I'll take a picture of it and probably use it as the thumbnail on this video. And I got my, uh, I got my uh, little tripod with the flexible legs on it that my buddy Dennis sent me, which is, what a, what a lifesaver this thing has been. 
you know how much trouble I was having with those dash mount. Uh, everybody seems to have trouble with those dash mount uh, holders. This you just wrap the two two of the three legs around the rear view mirror, bend them down a little bit where it'll they'll hold, and I mean it's it does great. So. Yeah, I'm just driving around. I got 139 miles already, man. <laughs> but anyway, that's the story, and I guess I'm sticking to it. <laughs> yeah, I'll be. Yeah, I'll be. I get a reminder every month when uh, I got to set up an auto pay on it. <laughs> I'll get a reminder every month when they haul that money out of my bank account. Here comes old Bubba up behind me, 150 miles an hour. There he goes. Go on, Bubba. Go on, Bubba. Get to that emergency. Hey, at least he either waved at me or shot me the bird. I don't know. All right, guys. I'm just I'm just cruising back here. Uh, oh, the, the salesman got in here, and, you know, he started going over stuff. He paired up my phone with the Bluetooth, and which I never even used on my other car. And showing me the radio and all this stuff. It's not a, it, this is pre a, pretty much a base model. It's got the cloth seats and uh, it's, it doesn't even, it, it, it's more of a base model than the Jeep was. It doesn't have where if you touch your doorknob and you got your key fob in your pocket, your door automatically opens. You gotta, you gotta press that open buttons, you know, really, really a lot of work, but, uh, yeah, so I'm getting used to, you know, how you adjust the air and the, get the radio on the right spot and all that kind of stuff, fun stuff, and I cleaned out the back, I was carrying a lot of stuff, because my, my hatch area back there is smaller than the other one. And I, I was carrying stuff that I didn't need to be carrying, so sort of got that all organized this morning. Anyway, I'm talking too much. We'll talk to y'all later. Have a good one. And, uh, yeah, Geezer got good transportation now. I'd rather have good transportation than money in the bank, I'll tell you that. Talk to y'all later. Stay blessed. Stay positive. Keep your health. Beautiful day. Bye-bye.